Hello and welcome. In this video, I will show you how to create a widget that displays a vertical bar chart. The second child of the column widget is a chart column 2 widget, which will display the vertical bar chart. First, you need to create a chart column 2 class. The child of the chart column 2 widget is a card widget which will create a rounded rectangle with a shadow effect. We set the color to a white color which will define the background color of the card. We set the surface tint color to a white color which will define the tint color of the card. We set the shape property to a rounded rectangle border widget which will create rounded corners for the card. The child of the card widget is a padding widget which will add some space around the content. The child of the padding widget is a column widget. We set the cross axis alignment property to cross axis alignment start, which will align the widgets to the start of the column. The first child of the column widget is a row widget. The children of the row widget are the widgets that display the number, the arrow icon, the percentage, and the menu icon. The first child of the row widget is a text widget, which will display the number 854. We set the style of the text widget to have a font size to 28 pixels, a bold font weight, add a black color. The second child of the row widget is a sized box widget, which will create some space. The third child of the row widget is an icon widget, which will display the arrow underscore upward icon. The fourth child of the row widget is a text widget, which will display the words 25 upward. We set the style of the text widget to have a font size to 16 pixels and a normal font weight. We set the color of the icon to a custom color with the hexadecimal. The fifth child of the row widget is an expanded widget which will take up the remaining space of the row. The sixth child of the row widget is an icon button widget which will display a menu icon. The second child of the column widget is a Ceph Cartesian chart widget, which will display the bar chart. To use Ceph Cartesian chart in Flutter, we need to add these packages to our pubspec.yaml file, like this. The plot area background color property sets the background color of the plot area, the area where the data is plotted, to transparent, which means that it will not have any color. We set the margin property to an edge insets widget, which will define the amount of space around the chart. The border color property sets the color of the border of the chart to transparent, which means that it will not have any color. The border width property sets the width of the border of the chart to zero, which means that there will be no border. The plot area border width property sets the width of the border of the plot area to zero, which means that there will be no border. The enable side by side series placement property sets whether the series the data sets in the chart are placed side by side or stacked on top of each other. The value false means that the series are stacked on top of each other. The primary axis property sets the x axis of the chart to a category axis widget, 
which is a type of axis that displays categorical values such as text labels. The is visible property sets whether the x-axis is visible or not. The value false means that the x-axis is not visible. The primary axis property sets the y-axis of the chart to a numeric axis widget, which is a type of axis that displays numerical values. The is visible property sets whether the y-axis is visible or not. The value false means that the y-axis is not visible. The minimum property sets the minimum value of the y-axis. The value zero means that the lowest value on the y-axis is zero. The maximum property sets the maximum value of the y-axis. The value two means that the highest value on the y-axis is two. The interval property sets the interval between the values on the y-axis. The value 0.5 means that the values on the y-axis are spaced by 0.5 units. The class chart column data defines the data model for the chart. The constructor of the class takes three parameters, x, y, and y1, and assigns them to the corresponding properties. The x property is a string that represents the label for the data point on the x-axis. The y property is a double that represents the value for the data point on the y-axis for the first series. The y1 property is a double that represents the value for the data point on the y-axis for the second series. The variable chart data is a list of chart column data objects that contains the data for the chart. Each element of the list is a chart column data object that defines a data point for the chart. The first parameter is the x value, the second parameter is the y value for the first series, and the third parameter is the y value for the second series. The series property sets the list of Cartesian series widgets, which define the data sets that are plotted on the chart. The first element of the list is a column series widget, which creates a column chart, a chart that displays vertical bars, to represent the data. We set the border radius property to a border radius widget, which will create rounded corners for the bars. The data source property sets the list of chart column data objects which define the data points for the series. The width property sets the width of the columns as a fraction of the available space. The value 0.5 means that the columns take up half of the available space. We set the color of the columns to a custom color with the hexadecimal. The x-value mapper property sets the function that maps the x-values of the data points to the x-axis values. The function takes a chart column data object and an index as parameters and returns the x-property of the object, which is a string. The y-value mapper property sets the function that maps the y-values of the data points to the y-axis values. The function takes a chart column data object and an index as parameters and returns the y property of the object, which is a double. The second element of the list is a column series widget, which creates another column chart to represent the data. We copy the first column series widget and change the color of the columns and the y value mapper property. The third child of the column widget is a text widget which will display the word vertical bar. We set the style of the text widget to have a font size to 28 pixels, a bold font weight, and a black color. The fourth child of the column widget is a text widget, which will display a short description of the data. 
we set the style of the text widget to have a font size to 16 pixels, a normal font weight, and a gray color. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and learned something new. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and see you next time.